Okay, and we're looking forward to this man uh, doing his shadow boxing right there, getting himself ready. Getting ready for it. Uh, that fight is uh, the bout uh, that will pitch Stephen Kadima against Michael Emirate Godwin, a national cruiserweight challenge. Coming up next for your World of Champions, a Go TV Boxing Night 25, right here in Ibadan. Uh, we had two fights uh, going down already. We'll be going into the third bout of the evening any moment from now. Uh, Nero, uh, so far so good. Absolutely so far so good, but the uh, bouts are flying off the shelves as quickly as possible. The first one was the third round uh, TKO, and this next one was the second round TKO. And uh, I wonder what first would happen. Round, first yeah, first round. round TKO, rather. I wonder what's going to happen in the third bout of a, of a seven bout night. All right, uh, we, we're getting into the third bout of the seven bout lined up tonight here on GoTV Boxing Series at 25th. And of course, it's happening live at Indoor Sports Hall of the Obafemi Awolowo Stadium in the city of Ibadan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still live in Ibadan. Our third fight is a six round national cruiserweight challenge bow. In the blue corner, weighed in at 87.9 kilograms, Steven. Freeman Kadima! So, making his way out. Ralph, we're hoping this guy's up the ante. Ibago is known for boxing. What we have seen so far, that has not been so, 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 uh, you know, motivating. In the red corner, he weighed in at 90.9 kilograms. Michael Emirate Godwin! Emirate Godwin. Six fights, four wins, two, uh, uh, three out of the, uh, coming out of knockouts, uh, by way of knockouts. And of course, uh, he's lost twice. One of his losses uh, was by KO also. He is 41 years old. But you know what? When you see Emirates in the ring, you know nothing. You just blank out his age because he's an absolutely fantastic boxer. I enjoy lots of energy. watching him every time. Sure. You know, he can take a punch and I think he can dish out as well. And he can also give punches to solid punches. His crosses are something else. Uh, well, he's down there on his knee, the red corner. In the is. blue corner, he weighed in at 87.9 kilograms. He's had one fight, 1-1. One, one. Steven Freeman! Kadima! In the red corner, he weighed in at 90.9 kilograms. He's at six fights, one four, lost through three by knockout. Michael Emirate Godwin! Our judges are Shay George, Shegwa Desoya, Latif Moiz, and our referee is Ezekiel Babatunde. Ezekiel Babatunde, your referee for this game. I want you to play according to the game. Please obey the rule of the game. Thank you. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Right now for the two fighters, Steven Kadima, one fight, one win, and he weighs 88 kilograms. And of course, his opponent, more, um, more experience, six fights, four wins, two losses. And of course, three of his wins by way of knockout. He weighs 91 kilograms. It's a national cruiserweight challenge context. Eight rounds of boxing. We're going into the first round now.
We're going into the first round of the bout right now. Godwin Emirates uh, clad in a yellow uh, gold trunk, I should say. And of course, uh, his opponent, uh, of course, uh, clad in black and white. Uh, that's talking about uh, Stephen Freeman, Kadima. Interesting fight uh, for you. Kadima looking lighter, uh, but then you can uh, judge the book by the cover. And you can tell uh, the fight in the dog, no matter the size. Oh, big left from Kadima. Kadima looks like one that is going to fight a real smart here. He needs to do that when you're fighting the very, very experienced Stephen uh, Godwin. Um, and Kadima uh, showing that he's got some beautiful combinations, uh, you know, coming off his hands right there. But trust uh, Emirates, he can take punches. He's going to just start, stay right in there, keep looking out for that opening, and he will take it when he comes. Yeah, that's a sleep, but... Uh, Quickly, Kadima almost catching him there. Kadima I mean, means business. Yeah, uh, I, I love the fact that he's very alert right in the ring. He knew that that was a slip, but he, he, he wouldn't be bothered about that. You know, he just uh, pounced on the Godwin all the way. Big one there, Kadima catches him again. I think this has got to do with uh, uh, the trainers uh, that Stephen Godwin is wearing. I'm uh, talking about uh, Emirates. He needs to do something quickly about it. I'm not too sure that he's got a spare uh, trainers with him right here. But that trainer, uh, those trainers could be uh, his undoing right here. Another beautiful uh, connection there coming from uh, Kadima who connects with a very lovely left one. And is, you know, bouncing in the ring, uh, marking his time. He's a southpaw and that could be one of the reasons why uh, Emirates Godwin is struggling right now. Well, he's totally taken this first round by storm. And uh, Godwin is uh, still wondering, you know, how to approach the fight, really. Those there you go. By, there uh, you go. It's really confused him. Godwin is beginning to get his range right. He told you, oh, another one coming from Kadima, who, who doesn't seem to be faced by the size of uh, uh, God, uh, Emirates Godwin. And the thing is, uh, Godwin is now fighting on the back foot. Uh, you can see Kadima, who's really on his case and uh, not trying to give him any space at all. You know, distracting him so much. Yeah, you have a fantastic counter box in there uh, coming from Kadima, who's uh, trying to get uh, Emirates, but he's not connecting right. Kadima. And that's the first round going right there. Both uh, boxers giving themselves a uh, touch of, touching of the gloves, uh, a mark of respect for both. Kadima, uh, young, you know, very fearless from what we have seen so far. And uh, having some, uh, a little chat with his uh, trainer right there. Uh, Kadima's trainers there, dishing out instruction, and uh, Michael Godwin, the one and only Emirates, as he calls himself, uh, still looking a bit faced. Uh, his trainer trying to make him understand uh, the way the other fighter uh, is putting it out there. But you can see the fans uh, right here at the old gymnasium of the uh, of Bath at the Awolowa Stadium, uh, formerly known as the Liberty Stadium. Interestingly, uh, this stadium held Nigeria's first professional, international professional bout. Uh, you remember the days of Dick Tiger here too? Yeah, that fight took place right here. So when you say deja vu, yeah, deja vu, but it's not an international scene. <laughs> not at all. We can't forget Dick Ihetu Tiger. But anyway, one of his war title fights ahead right here in the city of Ibadan. Good left uh, coming from uh, Kadima again. You know what I love about Kadima? He's fearless. He's ready to go on the inside. And uh, Godwin knows that he has to pick his punches because he cannot uh, afford to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, pound, uh, punch for punch with uh, Kadima. Kadima just showed him right there again how quick he is. It is uh, combination changing. 
You know, one thing I have noticed in this fight, Nero, is the fact that um, Kadima um, have really come in strong and of course changed the total fight plan of um, Emir Godwin Emirates. Godwin is not fighting the way we know him to fight. Absolutely. Or a boxer that fought for the national title. You know, um, it was Afini that beat him to win the national title. Yeah. And of course, uh, that was uh, on the 24th of um, December. Uh, Another go to the boxing series. Exactly. That was the 24th edition of it, if, if exactly. my memory serves me right. Exactly, in December 2020. And it was, wow. it was a very interesting fight because Godwin was actually leading on the cards. Uh, he got tired uh, He got tired along the line. And Afini, who thought he was going to lose the fight, you know, got a chance for a, a, a sucker punch and he did the job. Exactly. Remember that, that fight very well in Lagos. And uh, everybody thought that Godwin was actually strolling to the title wide swing from Kadima and of course the counterpoint from Godwin did not land for oh, boxers at the middle of the ring now Kadima needs to fight very intelligently like I said this man is a man who doesn't normally go away easily talking about uh, Godwin Emirates so Kadima is going to be going to have to be very very tactful about it you can see his corner there uh, them telling him that he needs to move out of the place as quickly as possible because uh, Emirates is a good counter puncher if he throws that punch and he misses he can be sure that Emirates will be pouncing on him Emirates just um, wondering how to really he needs to change tactics um, the the South Pole uh, looks like he's never fought a South Pole before the way he is uh, going about this fight well I tell you um, Kadima won his debut fight via a unanimous decision that was over Godwin Ambrose on December uh, December 2019 this is his debut on Go TV boxing uh, but this man Godwin is fighting his third Go TV boxing night appearance uh, for him his two losses Godwin's uh, two losses uh, was to Duro Dola and Afini and, and those are very well established boxers exactly. so you can't blame him for that uh, in three fights and then uh, but that's what we're talking about uh, and like you said Kadima is on course for victory the way he's going the, the the first thing the boxer wants to do is to make sure that you disrupt the plan of your opponent and he's done just that right now you can see Michael Godwin he cannot even get himself composed to do something right and uh, no respect at all it's like the whole strategy out of the ring exactly oh there he goes for the kill his left they're coming in big one up from godwin but he didn't score, he didn't that, score. That, that's the movement of kadima he's so quick so I quick another round for the free man kadima steven for me kadima is 27 years of age and of course this is only his second professional bout and of course godwin is 41 years of age and uh, this is uh, his uh, seventh professional bout. And you know what? Kadima is coasting right now. I know it's still early days, but if you follow uh, the fight plan and the strategy of your corner, this will go right for him. All he needs to do is do not stay in one place. You must not be stationary. When you're fighting Michael Godwin, you need to move around. Just like his name says, free man. He needs to be free in that way. Third round of scheduled eight. Referee box calls for them to fight. Stephen Kadima chasing his man and left there coming from him. Only 27 years of age. The man in black and white. It's a body shorter from Kadima. Emirate just watching, looking for that loophole to attack.
Foley made his debut on the 19th of December 2021 against Godwin Ambrose, uh, which he won by unanimous decision four rounds. It was uh, for Kadima. Kadima now being precise there. Two rounds we had earlier on, both rounds uh, would have been would have gone to Kadima. Good uh, Kadima again. We got a shot from him. Had a good job that time. The free man, free at the moment. As Godwin yet to really land any big one. Uh, complaining of low short, low. Oh, big left from Kadima. And Godwin comes with his own, a double right. And Ralph, you can see what's going on in there. Kadima is really showing, uh, showing Godwin. He's pretty much almost tutoring uh, 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 Godwin emulates how to box right here. You know, look at that again. Racking him up with that left. And Godwin is really, uh, you know, suffering because I think the fact is that he can't cope with the south ball coming from that man there, Kadima. He was going for the kill that time. I didn't quite land a Godwin. Stephen Freeman Godwin. Oh, uh, Stephen Freeman Kadima, I beg your pardon. Kadima is controlling this fight. He's dictating how he wants it to be. When he wants the two of them to have a break, he's doing everything right here. Yes, definitely. Watch that again. Fantastic job coming from the man, Kadima. Another round going the way of Freeman, Stephen Freeman Kadima. <laughs> this is what you call no discussion right here. All the rounds so far gone that way of Kadima. And like I said, all Kadima needs to do, look at that. And, and he keeps throwing body punches and, you know, headshots as well. And that's really causing a lot of problems, especially those left hooks. Uh, Gone in every race, he's it to to cope with them. Three rounds from us I would have given given those three rounds uh, to Kadima. Not official. Yeah, not official. And out of eight, if he's taking three on three, all he needs, all he needs to do is just keep going. If he takes another two, if he takes another two and avoids a knockout, the fight is his. Stay away from any soccer punch. I keep going the way you are going. That's the advice from us to this man on your screen. But of course he can't hear the advice, Ralph. <laughs> okay, surely he can. <laughs> fourth round of this eight round contest uh, between the much more experienced uh, uh, Michael Emirate Godwin. It's a national cruiserweight title ch and challenge, rather not a title challenge, against a man who calls himself the free man, who's actually free, very much free in the ring right now. He's been Steven free. Steven Kadima. Oh, Godwin oh, comes out strong. Now. I think God Godwin's, uh, uh, Godwin's ego and his reputation has been, uh, you know, a bit tampered with. And uh, he wants to fly out of the of, of, of the corner right now. He wasn't free that time, but now he comes uh, trying to retaliate. Look at those uh, crazy left shots there. Good counter punching coming from Godwin. Oh, look at that double left there. The first thing connect. Oh, another left again, another right, another left. Kadima is really taking this to Godwin. Godwin still. Unable to decipher what's going on in the ring right here at the home gymnasium of the... Wow, look at that. And that's the way to go. He's employing all the boxing tactics available. You know, when you're in danger, you hold. And when you're not, when you're in control, you put in the jabs. And that's exactly what Kadima is doing right here. Very intelligent boxing. I'm, I'm so impressed with this young man, Kadima. He needs to be more precise. Oh, two left uh, hooks connected, but he gets caught in the process as well. And of course, backs off. And Ralph, you know what's working for Kadima right here? Like I said, he's taking the pace of this fight. 
Uh, and that's what Godwin Henry needs to do. He needs to stop him from controlling this fight. Nice body punches there coming from Kadima right there. And uh, fourth round almost done and dusted as well. Then of course uh, looking for the big kill. Uh, talking about uh, Godwin Emirates. He must be very, very cautious right here. Intelligent boxing brought by oh Kadima. Those double left hooks, and you can see the face of uh, Godwin. He seems to be uh, having a bit of a bump just under uh, that right eye here. And uh, I'm sensing it. If this fight keeps going, the, uh, if he goes the distance, he might be having a cut. But then, of course, who am I to say anything about that? I'm not the cutsman right in the ring. But uh, Kadima, uh, for me again, uh, seems like he has edged uh, this uh, fourth round once again. And there you have it, both of them, you know, going for it. Both of them not really connecting there. But you can see Kadima once again connecting with that left there. And he keeps doing all that every now and then. And this man is rattled. It's rattled, but had a, um, two big shots in that um, round. You can see a little bit of a swelling there. And the Ibado fans looking very pensive. Uh, they don't know what to expect in the fifth round. But I'm pretty sure they have enjoyed what they have seen so far. Another cross section of uh, uh, the media guys right here. Uh, Gowon Akbodono, uh, Wale Adekunle. And of course, uh, we have uh, uh, other uh, media guys also here. And of course, uh, the fans loving what they're watching. And uh, some of them even taking the pictures and sending it back to their loved ones uh, anywhere in the world. This is Gold TV Boxing Night 25. Indeed, we're into the fifth round of Shadowed Eight of this interesting bout. Wide swing from Kadima. And Ralph, you know what I've noticed as well? Every time the bell sounds for a new round, Michael Gordon tries to, you know, take over the round and uh, wants to own it. But Kadima uh, seems to have found that out in this fifth one. And he came out even the more aggressive uh, in, this, in this bout. And uh, he's so to speak stabilize the uh, Stephen Godwin again and put him where he wants him to be for sure he's trying to fight from the outside now since that left that didn't land you see you see what he's doing to Godwin faking Godwin uh, and Godwin has to raise up his guards because he knows that left will fly out of those uh, arms any, <laughs> any moment from now and when you keep when you keep a boxer on that level, Ralph, the boxer cannot throw a punch because he already has his two hands trying to guard his face. And that's not the best way for Godwin to fight this fight. He needs to stick one of his hands out, which is his left, and try to get some jabs in, but he's not doing that. Good left again from Kadima going for a big one that time. I didn't quite connect. I go for the body short. Sweat just splattering her all over. From the bodies of the boxers see, you, can see the, you can see the shimmering you almost thought he was like uh, doing a leg over in a football field talking about kadima he catches him again those left hooks godwin is really struggling with his left hooks and you can see the corner of kadima they are definitely happy with what they're saying so far i mean uh, godwin has been on the back foot of this fight right from round one all the way to round five Oh, almost running to other upper court. If that landed, it would have sent him to the canvas. Another left hook again missed. I'm wondering, by the time one of these left hooks connects with Godwin, will Godwin be able to take it? Because I'm having a feeling it's going to be around the right jaw. And usually when a good punch connects to that area, it's the weak point of any boxer you can find in this world. Fifth round. And that left eye keeps... Oh, oh, look at that. He's totally controlling this fight. I mean, he's raising his hands up. And he's connected because he's distracting Godwin totally. He's like telling you, this is what I'm going to do next. And, and, he can't, and, he can't, and, he, and he can't defend against it. You remember that fight? Sugar Ray Leonard 
up against the man himself from uh, 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 North America, it is. I'm trying to remember his name right now, one of the legendary boxers from Mexico, uh, who said, no mast, no mast, he's not fighting anymore. When Sugar Ray kept raising his hands, he will raise his left, punch with the right, raise the right, punch with the left. Great fight this man has had. I take a look how what he did in that um, outgoing round it was uh, almost um, a street fight that time. No, no landed there, but then I take a look at this one that will come. Didn't quite land. Uh, that one has crept off the face of uh, Emirato, who tried, uh, of course, uh, held his man. Ralph, that's the face of the man who's rattled. Now talking about the fight I was talking about earlier, Sugar Ray Leonard up against Roberto Duran. And Robert Duran said, no must, no must, I'm not fighting anymore. Location here, the commentary box. We are not the official scorers of this bout, it has to be said. But I think this man, barring any knockdown or any knockout, I think Kadima has taken this. We thought it was going to be eight rounds for what we'll have on the papers, but it's actually six round. This is the final round, and so if it ends without any knockout from Emirates Godwin, then we'll be talking about a unanimous decision. There's any, any knockout coming from this unless Kadima gets careless, uh, he can suffer. But he, he's not looking like he's uh, uh, he's uh, going to be careless about this. He's doing everything that we thought he was going to do at the, at the start of this fight, which is to make sure that he's mobile. If you're mobile, God will find it difficult to actually find you, and that's exactly what's going on in the ring right now. You know, he keeps sticking in that right jab and looking for that uh, left hook from his uh, ferocious left hand. And, uh, that is really keep, keeping uh, Godwin at bay. Godwin cannot even unleash his own arsenal. I should have just told the young man to just run around the ring, enjoy the sixth round, avoid knockout, uh, but he's attacking still. Yeah, because he doesn't want to let Godwin have some sort of confidence. And I'm a bit disappointed in Godwin's corner. Godwin's corner should have told him right now, it's a make or mark. Go for broke. You are losing on the cards. If you lose by TKO, so be it. But don't lose by, you know, being a wimp. Go out there all the way right grab, grab the knockout if you can get it and if you can't get it know that you've tried getting it another left uh, from Kadima. look at that look at that question from Kadima. i mean god is god he had him after he was on the back foot but all of a sudden beautiful counter boxing coming there and that's uh the glittering moji sola memorial oops a memorial trophy which is always handed out every go tv boxing night to the best boxer on the night round uh, surely of the three bars we've had uh, this man kadima uh, will be a contender for it a very good one at that he says come forward he's like come for me i'm right here i love that when you clinch and uh, the boxers try to get advantage of each other that's really nice. But then I can see Kadima holding the ropes right there without his left arm. And uh, they need to listen to the referee who's told them to. Uh, and you can see the warning coming there. And there you have it. Off the bounce. Great job from referee. Referee Zikel Babatunde has done a good job also. Commendations to him. Yeah, he's not somebody we see regularly in Go TV boxing night, but I must say that he's done a great job in this battle. He allowed, the fight to flow. Yeah, he allowed the fight to flow and uh, when he saw a bit of uh, unusual stuff that could get uh, both in just the uh, boxers injured he gave them a what kind of decision are you expecting uh, it, it's a unanimous it's a unanimous point victory for me unanimous for um kadima uh, we'll, we'll just uh, wait for what the official decision will be but you can see some of the action from that last round the sixth and final round a wide swing from him evaded that um, punch also but he got caught and came back with a counter right hook yeah absolutely there and uh, ralph this is one for the future he is one for the future talking about uh steven uh, uh kadima uh, i must say we're looking forward to uh, seeing that man who wants to be free 
We've had a great fight, really. This last fight was really interesting. The bout that features Stephen Kadima and, of course, Michael Godwin. They call him Emirate. And we will see how he has done tonight when we get the official decision. But Africa, I hope you're enjoying every bit of Go TV Boxing Night 25. And, of course, we've seen three fights going down. We'll be expecting a lot from the next bout to come. But we'll see this man. It's one man that the world of boxing in Nigeria should look out for. This is only his second bout, and he's done marvelously well. Absolutely. What I want from, from his guys right now is for them to train his punches. If he can get trained better so that we don't see so much of those wild punches, I, I, I think he's, uh, the sky will not even be his limit. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the decision. George Say George scores it 58 56. George Latif Moise scores it 60 54. George Shagu Adesoya scores it 59 55. Winner by unanimous decision, Stephen. Freeman Kadima! And there you have it. We talked about it. We told you that this man is a boxer for the future. Keep an eye on him. And of course, keep that name in your memory. Stephen Freeman Kadima. Uh, for me, I, I didn't even... I didn't think he lost any round. Absolutely uh, but not. One round was uh, not given to him. And I'm a bit uh, shocked about that. I'm shocked about it. It should have been, it should have been 60 um, for him all the way. But it's been an interesting one.